I am so glad that you could join me. I am excited about reading this book, the Jesus Storybook Bible with you. There are several scripture passages quoted in the very front of this book, and I thought maybe it would be good to go ahead and read them. One of the uh, beginning portions is a quote from a man named Josiah Condor from 1836, and it says, "'Tis not that I did choose thee, for, Lord, that could not be. This heart would still refuse thee, hadst thou not chosen me. So if God hadn't chosen him, then he wouldn't have chosen God. My heart owns none before thee, for thy rich grace I thirst. This knowing if I love thee, thou must have loved me first. And so the, the first few quotations are actually scripture, and I'm going to go ahead and let you know that some of them are paraphrased, which means that they're uh, shortened and in someone else's words, not necessarily directly quoted from the scripture that we have. The first one is found in Revelation 22, 13, and it says, Jesus said, I am the beginning and the ending. The next one is Luke 24, 27, beginning with Moses and all the prophets. Jesus explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. And then John 3, 16 and 17, this is one of those paraphrased versions. It said, Jesus said, God loved the people of the world so much that he gave his only son so that anyone who believes in him will have eternal life and never really die. He did not send his son into the world to punish people. He sent him to rescue them. That's pretty amazing. And then there's John 12, 46, also a paraphrase. And it said, Jesus said, I am the light that has come into the world. No one who believes in me will stay in the dark, hiding anymore. And Isaiah 25, 8 says, The sovereign Lord will wipe away all the tears from all the faces. And lastly, we have a quote from G.K. Chesterton. And it says, I had always felt life first is a story. And if there is a story, there is a storyteller. So each day we're going to go through a portion of this book and there'll be a couple of readers that you recognize, I'm sure. And I'm very excited about that. Uh, I hope that you have a wonderful evening and I will see you again probably tomorrow. Bye.